after you've cleansed and toned the skin and you want to do a different exfoliation, you can do a glycolic peel. Glycolic removes the dead cells by breaking the desmosomes that hold the dead cells onto the skin. So it's that's like glue that holds the dead cells. This just breaks that bond so the skin cells can slough away. So you want to make sure that the skin is very dry. She's cleansed and toned. But you want to make sure the skin is very dry when you do a glycolic because it will sting a little bit more if the skin is wet. I'm going to start by taking a little bit of aloe. I'm going to put it right along the corners of her eyes and underneath because I don't want it to seep into her eyes. Also right around the edges of the lips. If you have a little bit of chapped lips, it's going to really burn them. So we want to protect that area. Eye pads, more protection. And we quickly apply the glycolic to the skin starting at the collarbone, going up. Warn your client that this may tingle a little bit. You wanna leave it on about three to five minutes, depending on how your client tolerates it. As you're waiting, you can ask your client how it feels. They want to keep you informed of how it feels. If it's burning too much, tingling is expected. If it feels like it's burning too much, you want to remove it. You also want to watch the skin. So you want to make sure that no redness is starting or any kind of blistering, which can happen not very often, but it can happen. After three to five minutes, Depending on the, the way the client is tolerating, you're going to remove the glycolic. And you're just going to use wet burgers. If you, another way to remove it to neutralize it is to use baking soda and water. Some glycolics, uh, the company will have a neutralizer that you can use. I prefer to just use water. We also want to cleanse again after glycolic to make sure that everything is gone. All the glycolic is off. Okay, so I took most of the glycolic off and I'm just going to cleanse again to make sure that we got all of the glycolic off. And you wanna ask your client if they're feeling any tingling anywhere, if they are, you want to make sure that you get all the glycolic off. And the cleanser you should use should be um, a very gentle cleanser. You don't want to use any kind of glycolic cleanser or any cleansers that have alpha hydroxy or anything like that in it. You just want a gentle cleanser to make sure that it's all removed. and then you would proceed with the rest of your facial. The glycolic would go in the exfoliation step of your facial, 
and at the end you want to make sure that they use an SPF with sunblock. They have to be particularly careful in the sun after a glycolic peel. Moisturizer and sunblock. And her glycolic peel is done.